you know, when I talk about uh, passion points every week, you know, um, it was, again, meant uh, to be something that, you know, where I would talk about uh, traits or things about people's characters or whatever that could help us to succeed in life, you know, to basically kind of um, live your best life. You know, today, as I was getting ready to do this recording, I was thinking about some topics and some things, and the thing that kept coming to the forefront was appreciation. You know, I, you know, I was thinking about some other things like fear and facing challenges and things like that, but today I was just really feeling like appreciation. That's something that, you know, I think that it's a lost art. You know, I think a lot of times in our culture that we live in now, we don't really understand how important it is to utilize that tool or that part of our basic characters. It should, that should be part of our basic characters, which is appreciation. It's basically letting people know that you appreciate what they do for you. Um, so I've heard and I've read a lot about that we live in an age of entitlement now where a lot of people feel like, uh, you know, they're supposed to get a lot of different things. They're supposed to have a certain life, they're supposed to have a certain car, they're supposed to have a certain amount of money, a certain mate or whatever, a certain house they should live in. And, you know, all because they just show up on the earth and, and breathing and taking a pulse. Um, I don't know where they get that from. Um, maybe they haven't been alive as long as I ha have, but, you know, I learned early on that that really wasn't the case, you know, that you weren't entitled. It wasn't about what the world could give to you. It's what you were to give to the world. And one of the main things that we can always give, something that we can always show, is our appreciation for what people um, um, do for us. You know, sometimes you hear about people saying that they pull themselves up by their own bootstraps and that they didn't really have anybody to help them. But I'm wondering, you know, because I got a six month granddaughter and I have to help her eat every day and she's at my house. I have to help her change herself when she soils herself. I have to help her get her clothes on. I have to help her do a lot of things. So, and I'm, I think she's pretty much here. We all started out like her. You know, we all needed some type of aid or some type of help. So, you know, I've, I've often told people, you know, when I hear folks say that I'm a self-made man, well, I normally respond to that by saying, then that's a man who hadn't made much. You know, if, if, you, if, if it's everything has been about you, if everything that's ever happened to you, you were able to do it all, then, you know, I don't know you know, if that's, that's, that's the case. The next thing, you know, probably be the power of appreciation. You know, it's a, it's a powerful thing when you tell people how much you appreciate them. You know, it moves them in a certain way. It kind of makes you, they, you them want to do something else again to make you sh share how much you appreciate them by. So that's another good reason why you would want to try to utilize this tool, this gift, every day. And, you know, and finally, you know, the Bible says, give praise to where it's due or give honor to where it's due. And, you know, one of the big things, you know, I, I think we neglect in doing that, whether it's a parent, whether it's a sister, it's a brother, it's a friend. You know, today I would like for you, you know, to just try it. Go out, tell somebody how much you appreciate them. I don't care how small uh, the thing that they've done for you consistently all the time. Maybe it's just putting up with you. Tell them today. Make a phone call. Send a text. Get on Facebook. Show them your appreciation. Tell them how much they mean to you. Again, this has been Tracy Williams uh, with another one of my passion points. I mean, you can follow me on Twitter at Great Speaker. That's uh, G-R-E-A-T-S-P-E-A-K-E-R. And that's on Twitter. And you can also follow me on Facebook, uh, T. Allen, T. T. A. Williams and Associates. So until next time, God bless.